Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and anybody that's new, welcome. So today we are gonna do something different than the Jenga blocks. We are taking a break from that for this week. Uh, I've had this idea that I wanted to do for a while. I did a Christmas one with the with some beads and vases and I didn't do a tutorial for them and I've had a few crafters ask me to make one. So I wanted to do a nautical theme. And I did a couple little uh, experiments on the side and I'll go through some some things you can do and change it out for the vases. We are going to do three tall vases using the candlesticks from DT and we're going to be using E6000 glue just because it's clear and once you seal the top underneath you just want to make sure that it dries nice and clear and these are the um, Dollar Tree vases that you can get. Dollarama sells them too for any of my friends that have only Dollarama near you. We are going to need three vases just like this. We're going to need six candlesticks. These are from DT. And we are going to use E6000, like I said. So the first one we're going to do is just one simple straight glued center just like that the second one we are going to do is one like like that and <clears throat> turning another candlestick upside down gluing it right on top right here when you're doing it just make sure it's they're even to the points because it's not totally around. So it has a nice even seal. And then you could put the E6000 right on top and then just add the jar just like that. And then the taller one, we are gonna use three candlesticks. Gonna do the exact same thing as we did for the second one, one on top of the other and then just putting another one and doing it right along the line and putting the glass jar right on top. I'd suggest doing them in little pieces first so they don't slide and move around and become crooked. So I would just glue the one piece, let that dry, glue the second piece on, let that dry, and then put the top part on. Now I have them all glued. You're not gonna see the tallest one because it's really hard to see. And you can see as the glue inside here, you can't see it with the E6000. Now for the beads, I went through a rabbit hole prior to Christmas when I did a Christmas one. I didn't post it on, on my YouTube channel here, but I couldn't find them. They do sell these at Dollar Tree, the floral gel beads. Now they have white. I, I still haven't to this day I've seen them. I still have the beads that I have from Christmas time that I used and I didn't use the floral beads, but I did use DT scented beads. Um, I kind of laughed when I saw them. So these were the, um, they're just the air freshener ones that you can buy. Now, all I did was scoop out the red ones. I'm just gonna show you the size difference because there's little tricks that I saw a few people doing them, but they didn't explain. And then I seen a lot of horror stories about them, not about these beads in general, but water beads, whether they're Orbeez or anything like that. So I just separated all the red ones. I am gonna keep the red ones. Um, I do have some, but I am gonna keep this container because there are some red ones that I'm thinking about for a different occasion. But I'm gonna show you the size. So you're gonna see that's the size that I have that are already swollen. And this is the size that it is now. So you will see the difference in sizes. You do need to soak the beads. These are already soaked. Rinse them off. They have that fragrance with fire and fragrance. I don't like to play with that. So I rinse them off totally. You can buy um, one of the white plastic containers from Dollar Tree, rinse them out good. Let your beads soak, and I would let them soak for a good four to six hours. Now, these are the ones, these were already in here. This is just a DT container. So the ones that I used at Christmas time, these are, I just emptied out all the water and it has kept them fresh. Now, when you rinse the water out, you can just use tap water, but I would soak them in a separate, uh, like a container like this, for example. 
I would soak your beads. These have already been soaked, but when you do rinse these out and get all the white ones and put it in the container. Now I used five containers and a little bit I've had left over. It just depends how much stuff you put in your vases. Is you have to use the distilled water just like this. It keeps them from not growing so big they will swell. But if you use the regular tap water and when you do say for example have this container and you rinse them and put water in them to make sure you get to the appropriate size. I would leave them in a sink. I would not build them until they are four, five, four to six hours at least until they have gotten bigger before you start doing your vases. And then they will, um, <laughs> they will get bigger and you don't want them falling all over the floor. I read a lot of comments going, they were all over my floor, they ruined my new floor. So just make sure that you let them get bigger. And I think that standard for all the floral, um, or sorry, all the gel beads, the Orbeez, the no-name ones and that that I've read everywhere, and just the trial and error. So I'm just gonna switch the angle of the camera and we're gonna start filling them. Before I change the view of the camera, I did wanna say, instead of on the bottom of the base, I'm gonna start with just some blue glass vase fillers. Now they are just from DT. Oops, and I'm gonna use some shells, but with the shells and the rocks, you wanna make sure that you rinse them so you get any sand that you have off. I have the shells from a couple dollar stores and some trips that I was on. So these are the shells that I'm gonna use as well with just a little layer on the bottom with some blue just to make it pop. Now, if you don't wanna use the vase filler, the little glass gems, and you wanna go with a different color, you can use these ones. Now, these ones do come in the blue and white, similar to the other ones that I did show you. Let me just, they're exactly the same, except they're just the blue and white, and they also have the green and white. Now, I did a little test on one here. As you can see, the water looks blue. It's actually quite clear. It's just there's a lot of beads in here at the moment, but, if you want to do that instead of the vase fillers that you can use these ones too and you can just see that they're just the blue and it gives a nice blue look at the bottom of it also i had a shell that was in there for like i said testing it out and i just pulled the shell out and i'm thinking if it would turn blue and it never did so that's also an option if you don't want to use the glass veil vase fillers because the more you add up if you do a small layer of these little blue balls they're they're going to um it's going to turn uh, clear as you go up as we fill it let me just turn the camera around all right now that we're going to build it so we are going to stick a couple of the glass vase fillers in the bottom i'm just going to do a little bit here we're going to add some beads Now, DT does sell, I'm just gonna show you these ones here. And I kind of went down the rabbit hole at Christmas time trying to find them to do the centerpiece I did at Christmas, but they only had the purple and I'm thinking the pink and they didn't have the white ones and still to this day I always peak and they still don't have none and Amazon wanted a crazy price and then a lot of them were super expensive so that's when i just decided to see when i walked past the kitchen section and they had some of these things i wonder if they worked and worked great and plus i got to use them plus these vases are good too that you can use them again for another centerpiece for another time to do other decor i think i'm going to put a few more in there And then when you add the water, you can actually just use, and you gotta watch because sometimes you'll have runaway ones. And you just keep sticking them in there like that. I don't know if I wanna put that one. And you just kill, keep building the layers. I think that's.
all the way up. And keep adding as many or as little, depending on how much you want to see in there. Now it's hard to see because you haven't put the water in. And then I'm going to pour the water in here in a second. And I think I'm going to leave it about there. All right. I think that's good. I'm going to add some of the water now. And make sure you use distilled water, guys. Now, if you want to move any of them around, just take a stick and you can just adjust it as you want it. And you can play around with how you want the shells to be placed. All right, so now that I have them all put together, I think they turned out really well. I am just going to get some mainstays, which is just Walmart floating candles. I have three out and I'm just going to put them on top like that. And then the other one on top. Now I am going to put them in a tray. So let me just change the angle. Right, so we are going to use a Dollar Tree round serving tray. Just gonna pull this sticker off. You can use any tray, you don't have to. If you just wanna leave the candles separate, I'm just gonna show you the base. So I am gonna stick them on here like this, just kind of center with the front a little bit more open, the tallest one being in the middle. Now there's a little lip along the edge here, and we're just gonna add some sand. I have Dollar Dollarama sand only because I couldn't find any at DT. Just gonna throw some sand around here. All the way around. And you're just gonna make sure that you don't put it too high so it doesn't go out the ends. As you can see, some of it's going out the ends. And you can put any of your little favorite, uh, maybe shells that you got. Welcome beach that way with a little arrow. I just want to cover it so you don't see the bottom. I'm going to use a Dollar Tree anchor and I'm just going to position it right here. Not gonna hot glue it. I'm just gonna let it sit on an angle. <clears throat> Dollar Tree has these little mini glass uh, containers and I'm just gonna roll up a piece of um, post-it note. And I just put it in a, one of the little jars with a couple little shells. I'm just going to stick it right there. One of the DT's starfish. Dollar Tree has a couple of these little rocks. Dream. And I got a couple coral pieces, some vacations I went on. I'm just going to stick them around the back. And one of these big shells. I just really like these shells. So there's so many different things that you could do and put in it. It's really up to you, but that, I'm just gonna change the view and we'll finish this tutorial off. All right, so here it is. 
I think it turned out pretty well. You can put anything you want. You can change up the colors. It's really up to you. I just got to figure out a space in my bathroom for them. That's where I wanted them. And you can store them in that clear container with the blue top from DT. Rinse out all the water and just put the beads in there and seal the top for your next craft idea that you want to use with them. I used um, uh, just five containers of all the white beads and I still had some left plus the red that I did keep for another project and that is it I would light it but it's a little bit too bright in here you wouldn't see them lit very well let me know what you guys think in the comments happy crafting and see you guys soon bye